Hey guys, back Kentucky Range Time. Back today with uh, more of the Six Arc uh, documentary. We've got uh, three barrels here. I've got the 18 inch Odin Works, the 20 inch Ballistic Advantage, the 24 inch Faxon. I'll be running these at 100 yards uh, over the chronograph. And I'll be loading, uh, I'll be running nine different bullets today. I've got a, 70, a 58 grain Hornady B Max, 70 grain Nozzle Ballistic Tip, a 75 grain Spear Gold or a Spear Extreme Hollow Point. 95 grain Barnes uh, LRX, 95 grain Nosler Ballistic Tip, 103 grain Hornady ELD, 105 grain Hornady Full Metal Jacket, 108 grain uh, Hornady ELD, and 115 grain Burger VLD. So I'll be running these at 100 over the chronograph, and I'll have all the results coming up later. All right, guys, so we're, we're done uh, putting all these rounds down range with all three barrels. I've got uh, chronograph data. I'll get back into the shop here in a little bit and I'll crunch that down and, and start on uh, uh, some uh, some comparisons between these for SDs and, and velocities, uh, different bullets and different barrel weights. And I'll have pictures of the groups and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back with that in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so uh, back in the shop, it's actually been maybe three weeks since I, I, I shot those groups, but uh, I've got the uh, spreadsheet made up with the, uh, the data from this. There's about a 30 second clip of this uh, at the end of the video. Feel free to pause your, uh, pause your player on that, digest through this information, and I'm looking forward to hearing any questions you guys have about the velocities or the numbers here. Uh, this isn't an Excel spreadsheet, so if there's something else you want to see, I can crunch numbers differently, uh, odds and ends and stuff. Um, real quick note, uh, the hand loads were on brass that had three firings on it. Um, this brass is now getting ready to go to the annealer, and I wanted to shoot up this bunch of brass. Uh, bullets on here, they're listed on the chart. Um, loads. Uh, all these bullets were actually worked up for my 18 inch Odin Works barrel. I did not change or tweak these at all for the 20 inch or the 24 inch barrel. So the groups there, um, they are what they are. I was more interested in just getting the good velocity check between the, the different barrel ends. So uh, my project upcoming, actually I'm already into it a little bit with the 24 inch barrel uh, since it's been so long since I shot this, uh, these, these test loads. Uh, I'm actually trying to work up a good load for this 24 inch barrel, increase my velocity, uh, increase my flat shooting trajectory with this longer barrel. Uh, so, and also the 20 inch and the 24 inch barrels probably have between 100 and 120 rounds each on those barrels. So I'm still considering those breaking in. I'm totally expecting the groups to tighten up with both of those barrels. Uh, but I am looking forward to hearing questions and comments on these velocities and the differences in these, uh, even comments on the on how the different bullets uh, are grouping and the bullet weights are, are grouping and shooting out of these. So take a look through these and be sure to leave me any comments or anything in the end of the videos. I'm trying to keep this short because Instagram is limiting the length of the videos I can shoot up and I want to try to get this all up and going. So catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Back Kentucky Range Time. We'll see you later.